Welcome to After Dark Creations Art and Review. This week, I'll be reviewing Nightmare Before Christmas. The Nightmare Before Christmas was released in 1993, and the story is based on a poem written by Tim Burton and then later adapted to stop motion animation and directed by Henry Selleck. Currently, The Nightmare Before Christmas has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 95% and an 8 out of 10 score on IMDb. Okay, now it's time to get into the plot, so spoiler warning ahead. Nightmare Before Christmas is a family film, but it doesn't shy away from mature content and topics like loss of identity, isolation, and disillusion of self. But the film's content is not all bleak, rather it can be seen as a story of self-discovery and experimentation. Nightmare Before Christmas features the story of Jack Skeleton, the Pumpkin King of Halloween Town. Jack is restless and tired of his mantle as the famed Pumpkin King, and he seeks a change in his life. Jack is joined by an array of wonderfully depicted monsters who inhabit Halloween Town, from ghouls to vampires and the Wolfman, who is my personal favorite. The character design is playful and imaginative. Each ghoulish figure harkens back to the classic era monsters, but with a modern, colorful twist. With the regard to set design of Halloween Town, the influence of German expressionism is apparent. The angular and crooked roof lines, jagged doorways, and shadows seem to be as if they have been pulled directly from the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. You can see with every aspect of the set and characters were created with tremendous detail and focus. Okay, now that I've finished art history geeking out all over you, back to the plot. Although Jack is much admired, he has few friends, including the delightful Sally, who encapsulates the depth, kindness, and awareness of what could be arguably considered a true protagonist of this story. Sally is being driven by her love for Jack and virtuous notions of right and wrong. Meanwhile, Jack is the perfect, pensive, distraught anti-hero for the story. Following another successful Halloween night, Jack wanders off into the holiday forest and stumbles into Christmas Town, where he is overcome by the holiday spirit. He returns to Halloween Town to research the mysterious joyful feeling he encountered while in Christmas Town, and soon develops a plan to take over Christmas. The final conflict sees Jack facing off with Oogie Boogie to save Sally and Santa. Jack is triumphant, having reduced Oogie Boogie to nothing more than a bunch of bugs. Santa is able to save Christmas and gives the gift of snow to the monsters of Halloween Town, so they too can know the strange feeling of holiday joy Jack was so entranced by. Jack and Sally meet at the top of Cemetery Hill and confess their love for one another, as Zero, the adorable ghost dog, floats around them. This is the perfect ending to a movie that really influenced my artistic aesthetic. It's probably the reason I became a sculptor today. All right, so let's break down how the film influenced my art. There is a number of fantastic characters to choose to depict. Jack and Sally, Zero, the Wolfman, the Vampire, the Creature are all wonderfully designed. The image of Jack and Sally embracing at the top of Cemetery Hill is iconic, heartwarming, and hopeful. Halloween Town itself was stunning. The stone design, the buildings, the streets, the light and shadow, which is contrasted with brightly saturated oranges and greens, are all tantalizing to the eye and incredibly stimulating to the imagination. I ultimately chose to go with Boogie's Boys, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. One of the reasons I chose to depict Halloween Town's favorite trick-or-treaters is the older I get, the more I miss trick-or-treating. Their bold coloration and simplistic mask echoing their appearance was wholly original. I was compelled to sculpt these little trick-or-treaters. Please let me know what you find enjoyable or inspiring about Nightmare Before Christmas in the comment section below. I'd love to discuss it with you further. And please share your Nightmare Before Christmas art with me using the hashtag AfterDarkReview. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you'd like to see more of my art, you can click the link in the description below and follow me on social media. Until next time, I am Jen, and let's keep it spooky, my friends.